Hi there, is your EV charger draining your Give Energy battery when you charge your car? Here's how to solve it. Now there's two ways how to solve it. You can either use the Give Energy app or you can use the Give Energy uh, cloud version in the browser. So I'm gonna show you both. So let's start with the app. Basically, once you've gone into the app, there should be see a settings cogwheel in the top right hand corner. Then on that screen there, you can actually see charging mode. Now you may have that to solar only. You need to change the charging mode to solar and grid. So once you've changed the charge mode over to solar and grid, you should, you should see some start times and end times and charge up to options now available. So tap on the start time, set your start time, and then tap on the end time and set your end time. So if you're on Octopus Go, you'd set the start time to midnight 30. And perhaps if you wanted to, the end time to 4.30 when your cheap rate finishes. And then tap on charge up to, and you see a big uh, graphic of the battery and you can just drag your finger up and down uh, all the way up from 100% all the way down. I normally kind of leave mine about 20%. And then all you need to do once you've done that is to remember to hit the save button at the bottom of the screen and then you're all set and ready to go. Obviously you can come back in again and set the charge mode just back to solar only if you want to. Just remember what you've set in this, okay? Now the same things uh, possible within the uh, Give Energy Cloud within your browser. So to do that, what you have to do is go onto the left hand side and your pop out menu go down to my inverter and then click on that and then go across the options along the top on the other screen and choose settings and then once you've done that click on time to charge and then this screen will give you exactly the same options that the app gave uh, you just have to enable the option and then you can access the start times and the end times and then this time it's just a slider uh, left and right to set the charging percentage and again don't forget to click on the submit button in order to save your changes you can also come back in here again as well and disable the option so what are we doing now we've done it what we're really doing is we're setting it so that your battery will be at this percentage of charge rate at that end time. So in this respect, at 4.30 in the morning when the cheap rate finishes, I know that my battery will still be on 20% charge. If I don't do that, then the EV charge will take all of the battery and leave me with nothing for the morning. Now the problem is at 4.30 in the morning, the sun's not up. So I don't wanna be on full rate 40p per kilowatt uh, electricity at four in the morning till six say in the morning when the sun comes up so what I want to do is I want to leave enough battery charge in there for me to run the house from 4 30 in the morning until about 6 30 in the morning so that's why we're doing it to leave you something in that battery um, so that the EV charger doesn't just drain it all and take it so if you were going to charge to 100% full in the winter say overnight then you'd follow exactly the same thing just set it to charge to 100% and you can probably make out there on the bottom there uh, where I charged overnight on the car. So initially um, the load power was quite high. We took some from the grid and some from the battery. And then there was the same. And then it dropped quite a bit off and then went off. But you can see the values in there if you ever need to in your uh, inverter settings. And that's it. Really easy to do. Um, Either do it in the app or do it uh, on the, your desktop in the Give Energy Cloud. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, give us a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.